It's time for Digital Ideas. I'm Mike Yeomans on the phone with John Davies. John, welcome back. Thanks, Mike. Good to be back again. Yeah, so just when I got used to backhaul, now you're talking about stuff like front haul. So let me ask you to exactly explain what is mobile front haul for cloud RAN deployment? Okay, Mike. Well, hopefully we can uh, clear up some of the confusion around this. And maybe to talk about the cloud RAN part first and talk about what that means, then mobile front haul should be a little easier to describe it. That's okay? Sure. So if we go back to what a conventional mobile base station has, it's got everything required in it conventionally, the baseband unit that does the processing, the radio, amplifier, filter, and antenna, all in one installation. And in a small cell, it could be even be a single physical unit, that is like an all-in-one architecture. Backhaul coming out of it transports IP. Typical bandwidth requirements are around the several hundreds of megabits per second, although that's going up. Now, the C-RAN architecture, or the cloud-RAN architecture, separates things. Uh, the remote radio base station has a radio amplifier filter and an antenna, all combined in what's called the remote radio head, or RRH. And then the baseband functionality, the BDU, the processing of the traffic in a cloud-RAN is implemented separately. This centralization of processing can improve coordination of radio capabilities across a bunch of RRHs. It has this kind of overall view, and it's useful for controlling interference between radios, for example. So why is this good? Well, you can get some cost savings with sim simpler radio installation. And operators can move to a kind of a pooled server approach for the baseband processing, and this is really where the cloud aspect comes in in the sense of clients, like remote radio heads, using processing from a centralized uh, computing entity or resource, the baseband unit in this case. And those remote radio units connect to the baseband unit using the common public radio interface, the SIPRI interface spec, uh, which defines a certain latency and bandwidth that we'll get into. And transporting that SIPRI interface essentially is front haul. It's right on the front of the operation. Um, it requires a lot of bandwidth, so it's well suited to an application where there's a lot of fiber, like a modern sports stadium, for example. There's a lot of mobile traffic, of course, from the people in the crowd sharing it information socially. So you, you could imagine an Olympic venue or a World Cup match, for example. You mentioned transporting the front hall traffic. So how do we do that and what are the options? Okay, let's talk about SIPRI itself a little bit first. It defines a maximum delay, low jitter, bit error rate is low. In practice, about 0.4 milliseconds for delay is an appropriate budget for, for overall delay. Capacity is up to about 10 gigabits per second with distances of up to 40k. So this brings us another a number of um, candidate options. Uh, for example, dedicated fiber. This this can be a tr an attractive option where you have a lot of fiber available. If not, cost could be a problem um, if you have to deploy a lot of new fiber. Optical transmission network or OTN brings some clever techniques like forward error correction, but these these have a cost, and a number of the valuable features of OTN can also add latency, which is always a problem with front haul or back haul. Passive optical networking, or PON, potentially could be attractive for CIPRI in city neighborhoods where you, you know, you, you may well have small cells. You have to be careful with power loss budget there and prevent additional delay, which, which can limit the overall uh, uh, diameter of the solution, if you like. And then microwave, for shorter distances, microwave is a potential option. Currently, the technology could only support a subset of the CIPRI rate options. And we find that wavelength-based systems, particularly Course wavelength division multiplexing, or CWDM, offers a good combination of characteristics. It brings low delay, high throughput, yet it's, it's pretty economical, both in equipment costs and the way it uses fiber. You need CWDM optics in each remote radio head, and then you use passive optics to kind of multiplex those streams together into a single fiber pair, and the individual wavelengths are broken out again by similar CWDM optics at the baseband unit location. It fits in really well with uh, remote placement, often you're outdoors, e.g. on street furniture or walls and so on. No active electronics, no battery backup need, uh, fairly simple optics, as I said. And uh, it can provide significant savings. A good option for remote radio head small cells, for example. And it's also really low delay, so this allows the operator to maximize the distance between the RRH and the BBU. So just briefly, John, can you tell us about the Alcatel-Lucent approach and what's unique about it? Yeah, we're seeing so, uh, some good interest in our 7705 service aggregation router products in this area. The 7705 SRO is an environmentally hardened 
CWDM, optical add drop mux, highly reliable, put it outdoors, kind of install it and forget it kind of thing. So it will add together, uh, add and drop those frequencies required to multiplex uh, SIPRI instances on a single fiber pair. Typically these SAR O's would be located to gather and multiplex traffic from a set of remote radio heads. And then when they bring this back to a, a macro cell site, say, where there's a BBU, we could have a 7705 SAR 8 with a modular CWDM capability to direct these streams to the BBU for processing. The BBU then su supplies a, a packetized traffic stream over an Ethernet interface that can be routed deeper into the backhaul network. So the nice thing about our solution is you've really got this fully integrated optical front hall and the feature-rich packet backhaul really in a single in a single solution. Really, it comes together in a single platform. So that's um, that, that's pretty interesting and differentiating. And it's, of course, it's part of our overall mobile backhaul solution end to end. Great. You've got a TechScene article that talks a lot more about this topic. Is that true? We do. Yeah, a TechScene article and an associated application note that gets into a little more detail. Uh, it's called Mobile Front Hall for Cloud Run Deployment, the, the, the app note is. And a, a simple way to find it is just to go to alcatelolution.com, find solutions and mobile backhaul, and uh, you should find a document and a, a nice little spotlight there advertising the, uh, the overall article. Excellent. John, thanks for your time today. Thanks, Mike. That was John Davies from Alcatel Lucent. This has been Digital Ideas, and thanks for tuning in.